Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Today, we're going to look at four ears, two patients, and they each have very different types of wax. Wax comes in all sorts of colors, consistencies, and textures. Our first patient has wax that's very tacky and does a great job at staying together. We can use the curette to remove one big chunk and get a clear view of the eardrum. Moving on to the other side, we see wax of the similar coloring and consistency. Let's see if we can't move it all out in a big chunk again. As you can see, when we use the curette or the Jobson horn to push on the top of the wax, everything moves together. After removing that one big chunk, you can see again, clear view to the eardrum. Did you know hearing loss is not just an issue for the elderly? Nearly 15% of high school seniors suffer from a treatable hearing loss. Our second patient has wax that is much more soft in consistency. It's not holding together quite as well. It's also lighter in coloring. Both of these patients are suffering from a severe impaction, but the way we get it out is gonna be slightly different. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It allows us to know what type of content you enjoy and we'll keep bringing you that type of content. As we use the curette here to get the majority of this wax out of the way, you can see how it just kind of keeps on going. The curette is going right through the wax. We're going to try to use some irrigation. This is what came out in the water. Following the irrigation, we have a little bit of redness in the ear canal, but you can clearly see that eardrum. On the other side, much less of an impaction. This time, all of the wax has settled to the bottom and sides of the ear canal wall. We should be able to get everything out pretty easily, hopefully not needing any more irrigation. Turn the curette around here to be able to pull that wax away from the wall. As everything comes out, we'll get a nice view of the eardrum, clean up these side walls, and then the patient will be good to go. Again, wax comes in many different shapes, sizes, and colors, and textures. This wax is definitely not as tacky as our first patient, but regardless of what your wax is like, if it's in the way and there's enough of it to affect your hearing and cause oral fullness, it's time to get into your hearing healthcare professional to get it cleaned out. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.